channel. This week I'm here with Lorena. And as you may know already, metallic lipsticks are really trendy right now. So this is what I'm bringing you today. And I also pair them with a neutral eye. A little bit of drama because it's kind of a cut crease and using um, kind of reddish orangey undertones which you know I love and so I hope you love the video just as much as I do if you do please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you're not already I'm gonna leave all my social media links down below and thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys on my next video bye I'm starting off using this primer by NYX which is called first base and I'm gonna also prime the eyelids using Painterly by MAC, which is gonna cancel out any redness and an even skin tone. And also, I'm just gonna powder it so it lasts all day. And I'm starting off using this Ultimate NYX palette. This is in Warm Neutrals. And I'm gonna take the two lighter shades that we have, one that is shimmer, one that is matte. And I wanna create an in-between shade. And so I'm gonna press that on the eyelid to give definition, but also opening the eye a lot. And I'm just gonna stop at the crease. And now I'm gonna take this warm brown, it's very light, as a transition color, and I'm applying that with a blending brush to create a soft base. I'm gonna take this other, more like toasted color, and I'm gonna switch the brush. I'm gonna use a soft deluxe petit crease by Zoeva, which is a little bit more precise. And I'm just gonna start cutting the crease with this. I'm gonna go pretty far in and just blend upwards into the transition shade. I'm now going to switch to the Color Rio palette, also by NYX, and I'm going to take this orange shade, which also I'm going to mix with a hot orange, which is a primal color, also by NYX. And I'm just going to create a custom orange shade that is not too neon, but it's definitely orange and powerful. And I'm just going to place it in the crease because I want to give it more warmth. I'm going to take this sort of reddish brown and a precision brush by Brulesque and I'm just gonna further cut the crease, intensify the line. Make sure you don't mess with the eyelid color because we want that very clean and sharp. And I'm just gonna blend upwards, always upwards, into the transition shades that we have. Now I'm gonna take this first shade alone, which is a matte vanilla shade, and I'm just gonna apply that under the bridge of the brow to highlight and make sure it blends with the transition shades that we applied. I'm now going to apply this highlighter by Nabla. This is Angel and it is a very, very powerful and light highlight. And I'm just going to apply that on the tear duct to further open up the eyes. And this is way more shimmery than the um, eyelid shades. I'm not going to take this scandalized Rimmel pencil in brown I'm just gonna take the product with an angle brush, this is by Zoeva, it's called a liner brush, and I'm just gonna wiggle the product on the lash line. I'm not gonna do like a crazy wing. And I'm gonna apply mascara, this is Lancome Hypnos Doll Eyes, which you know I love, it's in the waterproof version. And I'm gonna apply lashes, these are by NYX, they're called Vixen, and they really accentuate the outer corners, and they're very flirty, which I love. I'm gonna switch up to the NYX Color Rio palette and I'm gonna take the reddish shade and apply that on the lower lashes. And as I go towards the inner corner, I'm just gonna thin it out. So there's a progression. I'm not gonna take the darkest shade, which is a brown from the Ultimate palette with a square shape brush and just push it on the lash line to give it more definition and drama without being overly dramatic. I'm not gonna take the same pencil we were using on the outer corners and I'm gonna link it with the upper just so there's continuity. And here's the result so far. I'm gonna move on to base now and I'm starting off using this infallible primer by L'Oreal. This is gonna make sure you stay matte all day and slightly diminish the appearances of pores. I'm not gonna apply this Makeup Forever Face and Body Base, you know, this is one of my favorite base and um, it's getting discontinued and it's just it's a real shame I, I yet still have to try the new one but i'm really sad that this is happening anyway this is a very buildable foundation um it's it doesn't smell great particularly amazing it's actually kind of weird but it's buildable it's waterproof so it won't go absolutely anywhere so it's perfect for summer i'm 
I'm gonna also pinpoint conceal now using the NYX Conceal Correct Contour Palette in light. And as you can see, I'm just stippling with a little brush on any area that I want to conceal furthermore. And I'm just gonna stamp the Beauty Blender and also it's way better if you just go in with your fingers like you're gonna see me doing now. It is the best way. And so your face will look flawless but not cakey at all. Still, you can see skin texture. Anyway, uh, I'm moving on to concealer and I'm mixing the NYX AT concealers in 02 and 04 with a Halo Luminizer, which is a liquid highlighter by H&M. And I'm just gonna mix it and apply that under the um, eyes. And I'm just gonna blend and push the product in with the Beauty Blender. As I get closer to the eyeshadow work that we've done, I'm just gonna switch to a brush, which is synthetic, and just make sure it's flawless and yeah. I'm not gonna set that area using MAC Prep and Prime CC in Neutralize, which is a yellow powder, loose powder, which you know I love. Now I'm gonna slightly bake, but not too much. I don't wanna completely modify the area. And I'm not gonna take this highlighter by NARS. This is called the Multiple in Copacabana, and this is one of the best highlighters. Like, it is pricey as hell, but it's beautiful. And I'm just gonna dab it into the skin with fingers, and it really melts into the skin perfectly. And it looks like it's coming from within. So I'm gonna apply that on top of the cheekbones, on the cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, and on the bridge of the nose. Those places I love to highlight. If you have a very prominent nose and you don't wanna accentuate it, then just skip that step. I'm not gonna move on to blush, and I'm gonna use uh, this NYX Soft Blush. This is one of the ombre ones, and this amazing brush by Relax, which is a kabuki one, and I'm so in love with it. And this color, it's kind of a coral, mix with a warm pink and it is so beautiful i'm just gonna apply that on the opposite of the cheeks and blend upwards i'm not gonna take this shallow tilbury powder which is one of my faves and i'm just gonna set all the areas that i want to set so essentially the center of the face and i'm gonna move on to brows and i'm gonna start using this nyx eyebrow gel in brunette with a synthetic angle brush and i'm just gonna do little strokes simulating the hair movement and don't apply too much pressure on the brush because you want this to look natural and not completely drawn on. Well, at least I do. If you like them drawn on, then more power to you. But I like them to look more natural. And now I'm gonna set them using uh, also a product by NYX, which is uh, brow mascara, essentially. It has a little bit of color, and if I'm not mistaken, it's also in the color brunette. I'm also gonna apply a lot of mascara on the lower lashes and for that I'm using MAC and the Play Giga Black Lash. It is so powerful, it's beautiful, it's really easy to apply and I did a couple coats. She has amazing lashes and since this tutorial it's kind of inspired by the 60s on the eye department, I want this look to be very lashy so I did two coats. Moving on to lips now and I'm using Bourgeois Contour Edition which is a lip pencil in 04 which is a beautiful pink and I'm just gonna slightly line the lips and fill in the outer corners and now moving on to the liquor lipstick which is also a start of this show and it's the Amore Metallic uh, by Milani it's called Madly in Love it's the 06 and this is a beautiful color they're not overly metallic where you feel like a disco ball they're just slightly metallic and they're a matte finish and I love them I'm gonna also line the upper and lower rims to give more definition and frame the eyes furthermore. And that is the final step for the makeup. So this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed. I really love doing this look. And if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please share this video if you loved it on all your social media. It really helps me a lot. And I'm also gonna leave all my social media links down below and a full list of every single product mentioned and used in this video so you don't get lost. And I want to thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week. Take care. Mwah.